here's what we need to know, and this is why we can get results that, you know, for example, that I'll show you in just a, a few minutes, but get results where other doctors are not. First of all, we have to look at the hormone cycles, and the, the cycling female hormones is what I just went over, the 28-day cycle. We have to know what's going on uh, throughout that cycle. If uh, we are in menopause, we can do a short panel which might be two samples or even one sample where we can just get the general levels of the various hormones and we do want to get testosterone in those levels also. We also need to look at the adrenal hormones. As I mentioned um, in number four, the increase or decrease in cortisol, a hormonal problem that is caused from stress, can disrupt that luteinizing hormone release. So the things that can cause stress on a physiological level are going to be anemias, and that's why we go down here and we look at the basics. We always got to clear up the basics, the CMP, um, the CBC. Those are going to tell us if you're uh, anemic. We also want to get um, a look at the immune system, and I'll go into that in just a sec. But there are physiological reasons uh, beyond just life stress and spousal stress and job stress that change your adrenal hormones and we gotta clear those all up and then you have greater resilience to deal with life and spouse and job and things like that. We have to look at all the thyroid hormones and when I say all the thyroid hormones I'm saying TSH. That is where medicine often stops. So you look at that TSH which is a pituitary hormone and that is their determination for one thing, how do we manage? your symptoms and they have one option. TSH is high, you get uh, Synthroid or uh, some other thyroid hormone. But that's the pituitary talking to the thyroid. The thyroid releases something called T4. We have to have the levels of T4. In the body, T4 is converted to T3. We have to have the T3 levels. That also is um, primarily a uh, liver uh, dysfunction if we're not, if so let's say we have elevate or normal T4 but the T3 is low. If you have normal T4 your TSH is also probably going to be normal and you're going to miss your thyroid problem completely uh, with a you know the basic uh, traditional medical diagnostic process. So we have to have the whole system. What's the pituitary saying? What's the thyroid doing? And how's the body converting that? We also need to look at um, your insulin um, effectiveness or levels also, is it too high or is it too low? And that's gonna help us to regulate um, your, your blood sugar. And again, that's the number four disruptor where uh, elevated insulin is going to suppress the pituitary and decrease the levels of luteinizing hormone being released. We have to look at levels of inflammation in your blood in your body, in your internal environment. And the two main markers we look at is the high sensitivity C-reactive protein and homocysteine. Because it's whole system, these markers are probably uh, most famous for their connection to heart disease. So they do influence hormones. Essentially what we're doing is looking at inflammatory hormones. The inflammation, when you, when you are inflamed, it is a hormonal problem also. The hormones we're not as familiar with, they're called prostaglandins and cytokines and in, uh, leukotrienes, um, but those hormones increase these markers, um, inflammation. So if you're inflamed, your system is, uh, your, your cells, your internal environment is, is signaling to your central, central processor, which is your central nervous system, that you're sick. Uh, because they are the same types of uh, chemicals that are elevated when you do get a bacterial infection or a viral infection. So if your central processing system is getting signals that you are sick, you are not going to um, have an easy time getting and maintaining a pregnancy. You know, um, your, your body's highest priority is survival for yourself. So if there's any perception that you're sick, you're not in a good situation to, you know, begin reproduction. <coughs> we <coughs> need to
to look at the in immune panels. And that doesn't include the CBC, but w what we get with the CBC is your red blood cells and white blood cells and a little differential, like what's the neutrophils and lymphocytes. And it's a brief, brief look. The big panel that we need to look at that um, really is diagnostic of autoimmune reactions, um, immune imbalances, and all the inflammation that can be caused is the T and the B lymphocyte panel along with the cytokines. So just a quick overview of the immune system. The T cells are your like um, field warriors, your army. The B cells are like the CIA, the intelligence. And the T cells literally fight hand-to-hand -hand combat and the B cells um, are the antibody system. They tag uh, tissues for destruction. So if um, a virus gets into your liver cells, it tags those cells for destruction via the T system. And then there's other cells that we get on this panel called the T helper cells, which is kind of like the gas pedal, and the T suppressor cells, which is like the brake pedal. So it tells us how on the immune system is or how off the immune system is. And there's natural ways we can regulate that um, when we see one side is too high or one side is too low or both sides are too low or both sides are too high or whatever it might come back as. We call that immune dysregulation. It just means that it's out of balance. And the cytokines are kind of like the, um, the weaponry that is being used in the immune defense system. So if we get a really high cytokine count, um, it's very inflammatory and tells us which um, you know, weapons is the easiest way to look at it that the immune system is using to attack whatever it might be. Uh, we add to your general panel the vitamin D. Uh, lipids are part of the general pattern and then a couple extra minerals. We get some minerals on the, on the uh, C CMP, which is comprehensive metabolic panel. But we get magnesium, iron, ferritin, just to further look at mineral balance, further look at you know the basics like anemias and things like that. So those are all the things that we need to treat your system for or towards regulation, which also means towards health. And this is how we arrive at a healthy environment internally and a uh, move away from the disease process.